The trailer for this movie, The American Society of Magical Negroes, has dropped and gone viral for all the wrong reasons. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the trailer for The American Society of Magical Negroes that has dropped today and it's pretty much gone viral it's all over the place it's all on twitter instagram youtube it's everywhere and there is a lot of conversation about it the racism the corny elements the biracial main character all types of stuff now let's go back to the actual cover then we're going to get into the trailer now you see what it says right here the american society of magical negroes and the question is why did they name it that what is that Apparently, there's a trope in movies where a black main character only exists in the film to help out white characters and or the white main character. And that black character is called the Magical Negro. Now, I don't know how often that's used, if it's a real thing that movies cast for. I don't know, but that's what I've read. And I think this is what the movie title refers to because the character in this film is supposed to help the white guy in the movie. Now, before I go any further, let's go ahead and get into the actual trailer. I got to pause it a lot because of copyright reasons. If you want to see the trailer in full without my commentary, link as always will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. Okie dokie. I know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. So this is him. This is the main character in the movie called The American Society of Magical Negroes. Okay? Keep that in mind. Watching you walk through a room full of white people was the most painful thing I've ever seen. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> and I want to take you to a job interview. There's a recruiting class starting right now, and we got to get you in it. A lot, a lot of corny tropes so far. Going through a room full of white people and interviews and things of this nature. And David Allen Greer, I like. I liked him since in Living Color. A great actor. But this movie, I'm not quite sure about so far. Let's keep on going. I don't really understand. It's easier to say. What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Sure. White people, when they feel uncomfortable. White people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. That's why. Here we go. You know, uh, you know, the white man is dangerous. It's always, and you know what? What's funny? <laughs> the, the funny thing about this so far is that you see this a lot in politics. You have these leftist politicians who are non-white talking about the white man so dangerous. Meanwhile, when you go to their house, it'd be a whole white husband or white kids all in the family photos and everything else. It's always like that. Now, will that be the case in this movie? Let's watch. People feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. That's why we fight white discomfort every day. Because the happier they are, the safer we are. So if you control the comfort level of the white man, that means the black man is safer. Now, <laughs> I mean, come on. Are we really going to play that game? Name needs a little updating, maybe like magical black people, or I guess that doesn't have the same ring. You ready? Oh, wow. Your first client is a Jason Munt. His morale is far too low. Hey. Hey. Darn it. I was hoping there was a station right next to him. Oh, is this one spoken for? So, okay, he is playing out the trope where his role is to help the white man just tighten himself up, get himself together. He's a magical Negro. Kind of like, this is like Harry Potter meets Hollywood trope. Now, I want to see if they want to break the fourth wall. Are they really going to get into that? Or is it just going to be like a real Harry Potter fantasy type movie? Let's keep on going. And of course, we got product placement, Apple Computer. Very, very much so obvious. No. Yeah, it's actually fun and weirdly relaxing. It's like being a secret agent with none of the danger. You also have uh, MetaQuest, the VR headset. That's a real thing. More product placement. Secret agent with none of the danger. Hey, I'm Lizzie. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. 
She's great. Yeah, she's cool. You kidding? Come on, man. She's smart and funny. And... I know what you were doing going on about her. You're trying to set us up. No, no, no. That's not what I was doing. You cannot have. So, do we have the white love interest? <laughs> Is that what's going on? Is that so? You're in the movie talking about white man so dangerous, and you got to just be there to make sure everything's okay. And here you are with the whole white lady is a white love interest. That that is classic. That's hilarious. If that is what's going on, let's continue here. You cannot have a relationship with Lizzie now because if you don't put Jason first, everyone's magic will fail. I've always felt like it's my job to make white people feel comfortable, and here it literally is. But maybe it shouldn't be. I got a great plan to ask her out, but I'm gonna need your help. Do you think? You Okay, I'm just pausing it a little bit because, you know, copyright. I don't want to just keep on going and going. But um, his job his whole life has been to make white people feel comfortable. Like, what, who is mom? Can we, can we address that elephant in the room? Can, can we address that? Can we, can we just talk about how this movie is called The American Society of Magical Negroes, and you got this biracial guy who, at best, at best, is 50% white. He is just as much. He, I, you know what? I'm going to go out and just say it. He's probably more white than he is black. I'm saying he's probably about 70% white, 30% black at best. And if you have that kind of racial admixture, you're able to call yourself black, but you can't call yourself white. I mean, whatever. I would just say be biracial. You could be both and you don't got to pick. But in today's society, I guess that's not necessarily a thing you could do. Let's keep on going. It is. But maybe it shouldn't be. I got a great plan to ask her out, but I'm going to need your help. Do you think you can, like, work your magic? Hey, is he talking about me? Hey. Oh, my. Wait, are you? But I travel a long way. So we got the Harry Potter thing. They popping in and doing all types of stuff. We got the big lady, of course. You got to have that in these movies nowadays. Someone defied the society. Who was it? You didn't let her go like I told you. If you interfere with her or your client, you could have your memory erased. You won't even remember she existed. Even though we might never see each other again, I need you to know that what we had was real. I don't understand. <laughs> I was like, oh, I understand. okay, I don't, I don't really get it. So are we just trying to break through the color barrier? Hey, man, if they love each other and, you know, and they want to get together, then it's all good because this this actor his name is justice smith in real life his mom is white so it's not really a big deal your mom is white your love interest she white cool man y'all do what y'all want to do make them um um nba basketball player biracial kids it's all love there's no problem but the movie american society of magical negroes you're here to help the white man this is kind of the thing we're talking about racist white police officers and how they're so dangerous but yet we go to the white love interest you can't make it up I'm curious to see how you're going to make it out of all this. All right. So there we have it. That'll be in theaters March 22nd of next year. This is not a sponsored post. I'm just telling you when it's going to come out. If maybe you want to see it, maybe you have an interest in that particular movie. Um, <laughs> This is kind of just some woke garbage, in my opinion. I, I don't really see how it could be a good film. Listen, if you're going to talk about stuff like that, if you're going to, Get into the edgy topics. At least make it be good. Go for it all the way. Don't just soft out on it. Don't don't just cheap out. Go for it all the way. If you're going to speak on the magical Negro, I want you to really, really do it. If you're going to go woke, I want you to really go in there and make it be a good film. Okay, don't be afraid of the topic. Address it head on. This right here, okay, we're talking about a white guy, a part of me, a black guy, biracial guy. And by the way, the movie director, I think his name is Kobe Libby. And he looks just the same as the main character in the movie. I had to kind of look him up. I'm like, okay, there's a director. I thought, I thought the director was playing himself. Like he was in the movie as a lead character, but it's two different guys, Kobe Libby and Justice Smith. I might put him on the screen right here for a little bit of comparing contrast, but Again, if you're going to talk about these kind of edgy issues, go all the way in. Don't just be beat around the bush, be on the edges, have some kind of weird romance, your, your own personal feelings. Go for it all the way. So, again, the movie, The American Society of Magical Negroes, that is a trailer. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on the trailer? 
I apologize for the interruptions, but you know how YouTube is. They're going to try to give you a copyright. Did you see the full trailer? Is there any other source material? Is it a book? Anything like that, whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Uh, this is pretty corny. Um, movies like this, I'm not even mad at. If you're going to have a racially motivated topic, cool. Whatever you do, go hard. Go all the way. Make it be good. Just like some edgy racial jokes. If you're going to make a black joke, white joke, or whatever, okay, that's fine, but make it be a good one. Don't just do it just because... You want to talk about race because at that point it's like, okay, now you're just being cheap and you're just trying to capitalize on the thing that generates quick emotion and views and you're trying to go viral, but you're not trying to make really good content. You're not really trying to make good art. That's my point of view, but whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.